Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video of the Python series, we are going to talk about what are modules in Python, what are built-in modules, what are external modules, what is pip, what is a Python package manager. So these two things are very much essential for, most, uh, for proceeding forward. That is why I'm covering these two topics in this particular video. So without any further delay, I'll directly jump on to the topic, what is a module in Python? Module is nothing but it is the best form of a packaged code which you can import and use. So when I say that module is nothing but it is a runnable code only. It is a code, right? Now let's say you are trying to accomplish something. You have to write a very big piece of code. Now in that case, you might need, for example, division, right? You might need square root of a number. You might need cube of a number right so instead of writing code for that uh, you know at multiple points in your uh, main code what you can do is you can simply import a pre-built code right which would already have a function to do a square root of a number to do a cube root of a number to do addition to do subtraction it will already have a function you just simply import those function and then directly use it instead of writing code right and this particular module is actually the best form of code right you cannot write a more optimal code than these modules right so this essentially is called a module it is a pre packaged best form of code available it is a runnable code which is available to you so that you can import it and use it in your own code so when i talk about module there are two types of module you have your built-in module you have your open source modules so when you install python right at that time there are modules which come inherently with python so those are called built-in modules so those modules are already there with the python Python interpreter already has access to those module. You simply need to import those modules in your code and then use it. But when you talk about open source or external modules, in those cases, code is not there. Module is not there with the Python interpreter. You need to download the module from the internet, import it and then use it. So that is the difference between built-in and open source, right? So now we will actually go ahead and see what is the difference between built-in and open source in terms of usage. So what I'll do is I'll let me let me go to Python. Let me open Python. You can open Python directly from the uh, you know search option. You can simply type in Python 64 bit. It will show up. We downloaded it. You can directly click here or you can click on command prompt as well. Right. When you click on command prompt, you can type in Python over here. Then you will land into Python interpreter. Now these three arrows, when they come, basically it means that now you can start writing your Python syntax. Now um, both are essentially same. So now let me just exit out from here. Okay. So when we talk about Python, right? If I say import pandas, right? And I click on enter. What will happen is it, it is saying, it is telling me that it doesn't have any module named as pandas. Why? Basically, it is happening because pandas is an external module, right? Pyth uh, pandas is an external module. It has not come with the Python, right? So that is why it is saying, I don't know what is pandas. You need to download it first and then use it, right? This is your external module. I will show you how to download it as well. But now let me try to import a built-in module. So let me say import math. So when I do this import math, right you can actually see that with import math there is no error that has come up why no error has come up with import math because import math is a built-in module already right it is a built-in module python already has this module right now just because python already has this module it is ready to use it right now it said okay you wanted me to import math i had math and i imported math for you now what do you want to do with math let me say I want to print what I want to print. I want to print the value of pi, right? Let me say math.pi. So inside math, right? In using this particular math, if I want to basically print the value of pi, 
pi you all know 22 by 7 right now if i click on enter you can actually see it says 3.14 right this is how you can actually import a module and use it similarly uh, let we can what we can do is import math as let's say m now when i say import math as m what will happen is instead of writing it at as math.pi you can simply say m.pi right so again i can say print m.pi so you are giving reference right uh, it was a spelling mistake let me just remove a from here right so again you can see m.pi it is telling you 3.14 so basically this is what uh you know your modules are you import the module or you can rename the module as well so math module i renamed it as m right now if i if you want to understand you know what are the different different uh you know types of uh, built-in modules which are available i have uh you know link to it so i'll share this link i'll put it in the description box you can anytime go and check so you simply need to select the version of python you are using so we are using 3.10 so all these functions that you see over here these all are inbuilt functions that comes with python so if you see for example here it is random so let us try to use random right let me again go back right over here let me try to use random so let me say import random enter so when i say import random now since it is a built-in module i did not get any error now let me try to print random dot rand int 0 comma 5 and enter so basically what happened here so there is a function uh, there is a module called as random now inside this random module you will have multiple functions right the, so in a module there can be multiple functions right this random int this rand int is nothing but it is random integer it is trying to search the random integer between 0 to 5 so if i again run this i'll get another random integer between 0 to 5 if i again run, uh, run it i got 4 random integer between 0 to 5 so this is how it actually works and if you want to see basically how many or what are the functions inside random which you can use what you can do is you can simply type dir and inside it just put random random or the name of the module so the moment you put it what it will do is it will search this particular module right and it will give you all functions which are present over here you can go ahead and check this whatever are present so for example we have used rand int right random is also there then random range is also there sample seed shuffle triangular uniform so these are the different functions which can be used these are all built-in functions right i hope you understood this and you know i hope you understood how we can actually use it so similarly i'll just give you uh you know maybe i can give you one more example let's try to use square root right from here so what we can do is we can simply say print let's say uh, not square root in fact uh, the math library also we have imported as m so let me say m dot uh, you know s q r t and then let me put square root of 36 right and press enter so the square root of 36 is 6 which is correct now how did this come up from math library at the top from the math module right i have used square root functions now let me let me try to check whether the square root function is present inside math or not like let me put dir inside dir let me put math so moment i put it you can actually see this sqrt is present right you can actually see this sqrt is present and we just used it so this is nothing but your random uh, uh, sorry your built-in modules you can use them and similarly in case of your um, uh, external modules basically right if i say import so for example i am in python only right now let me go a little 
up in the screen so that it is little more visible so if you can if you see here if i say import tensor flow right now right if i say import tensor flow it is uh, it is going to so i just reopen my command prompt so basically we are clear with the built in modules now coming on to the external modules right that we talked about the open source one so open source one are not available within python right so if i go here right and let's say if i type in python i go inside python interpreter if i say import pandas right now pandas is not available over here right so i'll just exit it for now now what i need to do is pandas is not available so it is not ready for use i need to install i need to download pandas from the internet how i can do that pip install pandas this is what i can actually do pip install pandas is what i can actually do now the moment i do this what will happen is you will see it will start downloading pandas from the internet it will start collecting all the functions all the packages from pand of pandas from the internet this is called python package manager this is pip right so this is what your pip is pip is a python package installer it helps you to install packages external packages on to your machine as well as it helps you in fetching these built in and external modules so this is called pip your python installer it is a manager of your modules right so let me go back here you can actually see that the pandas is imported right now similarly pandas is downloaded from the internet now in the similar way what you can do is you can simply use it right you can, now if i say import pandas right uh in, okay uh, sorry i need to go inside a python interpreter so let me just click on python now i am inside the python interpreter and now let me say import pandas so now if i say import pandas i will not get any error now you can see the last line there is no error because python uh did not had pandas earlier now i pip installed it and then i imported it right then i imported it i can also say import pandas as pd right exactly same way the way we did right so this is how you can actually download uh, you know your external modules as well as your built in modules and you can actually use them in the similar case you can let me just close this uh, command line in the similar way you can do it in the pycharm as well so for now i just tried it with the command line i will show you with pycharm as well in our upcoming videos right so thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much